weeks of this year saw whites being killed in Rhodesia at the rate of one a day. And that's why the men on this little truck are busier than they've ever been. Their business is building security fences. There was a time when only farmers in the most remote districts near the borders or in the centers of greatest guerrilla activity went to the trouble and expense of surrounding their homes with eight feet high fences. But now as the war intensifies and moves ever closer to the big cities like Salisbury, all that has changed, much to the farmers' regret. I hate the thought of it. I hate the thought of being caged up like a bird, an uh, animal. I don't like it at all. Uh, but if you've got to put it on up, you've got to, you've got to um, live with it, you've got to learn to live with it, you've got to lock yourself in, you've got to like, lock yourself out. It will take a lot of getting used to, I can tell you. Then the civilians tell us, me and my friend, the children, me and my friend go there to kill the, the, the people. But there were women and children there. He lives less than an hour's drive from the centre of Salisbury itself. And although for a long time he and his family have carried weapons as a matter of routine, he'd always resisted the thought of a security fence, grenade screens and all the rest of it. If I had no children, yeah, I don't think I'd have a fence. I'm, I'm quite uh, capable of looking after myself and so is my wife. She's actually a better shot than I am and quicker. <laughs> so, uh, but it's children. I've got two, a five-year-old and a six-year-old one year, I went to senior school, and one of my actually elder ones says, uh, let's get out. I was disgusted. I said, if she wants to go to school down south, she can go. But this is our home. <clears throat> We were in the hospital, and uh, the terrorists which were being pursued went over the border.
every one of those who is on the opposite, who are on the opposite side, he, he deserves punishment. It's just one or two at the top who are responsible for the system and for the oppressive measures, the tyranny that has gone on, the atrocities that have gone on. Smooth and company, those certainly we are determined to bring to justice.